Hello, so it's another cold and wet day in Norfolk and now I need to cut the worktop to fit in this frame that I've built out of here. So I've already marked it up. So this is the mark. Most of it is a dead straight line and then it kinks in a little bit and then the complex bit is where we get here and have to navigate around that and this is not uh, this is not square here. So this end cut is at an angle. And then hopefully, you can see I've adjusted it to give a little bit more tolerance. Um, that's gonna be the kick in, like that. So the big long cut, I'm thinking I'm going to screw this to there as a guide and then use my circular saw and it will use the edge of that as a guide and go whizz up there like that. That's the plan. Okay, so that's my little guide screwed into place. I've just done a test cut and that is dead on. So that will make that a whole lot easier. So I've supported this on six of these little crates. Let's check there's nothing in the way. Yep, we're good to go. So um, I'll perch you over there and we'll get this cut. Right, ear defenders. Okay, so, job done. So I will unscrew this and then I'm gonna cut that bit over there. I'll probably do that with a handsaw. It'll be, yeah, just too fiddly a job to do with this great big cumbersome thing. Okay, so I've raised this up on two crates now to make it a bit easier to work on. Get this end cut. The problem with choosing a tenon saw for this is it has that ridge at the top. So I'm gonna have to swap over to this one. Although this one is rather more blunt than that one. Well, it's nothing like sawing to warm you up. Again, as per usual with these videos, I'm not pretending to be an expert. I'm sure you're all screaming at me saying, don't do it like that. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we now have this, which is hopefully exactly the right size and shape to flip over into there. Place your bets now. <laughs> is this gonna fit? Let me put you over here somewhere, one sec. Okay, you should be able to see from there. Let's give this a go. Oh, I've just got to come over out that way. Oh, 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 oh. Right, it is slightly, 
super slightly, too big there. And here, it's super tight here. I could take a tiny bit off that. Yeah, so I've got some tolerance here along the back. I'm gonna shave the tiniest bit off here because this kicked in a, tight, a bit and I did adjust for that, but not enough it seems. Oh, did I? I don't think I did because I, I did draw in a bit where it, where it tapers in and I don't think I cut it. That's what I've done. Right, let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so I have taken this bit off, which I completely forgot about before, so it might have done the trick. What do you reckon? Oh, it's close. Oh, it's in that end. Oh, it's so, so close, this end. Right, well, with a bit of fiddling around, I have got it in and yeah, it's not perfect, but nothing in here is gonna be perfect, but I'm quite happy. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. So we've got the work surface sitting in there flush with this, which is actually a bit of skirting board. You probably noticed upside down. I had a bunch of this left over from when we actually did the office conversion at home in the garage and it made it, made its way to Norfolk and it's now getting used in here. Um, so yes, this is all finished quite nicely there. Th this is all a bit how's your father, but I wasn't going to cut it in around that odd shape. Um, but yeah, it's pretty snug there. Nice and snug along the back and to this corner. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I've put a few extra screws in, which has stopped any bowing there may have been. So that, I'm calling job done. So, work surface down that side of the office. Check. Some racking in place. I've also... Um, screwed these to the wall so they're all rigid and tight now. Okay, quick clip while I'm putting this down. Um, what I had left of the damp proof membrane um, is going down on the floor now because I'm laying this um, underlay. We had loads of it that came out of the house and I'm going to use that in here. So underneath we're going to use up the rest of this and we've got enough to do the whole of the floor. So happy day. So before I get on with the table, I'm gonna put that in place and secure that down. Uh, it does mean I've got to move these and get it all tucked under there. That'll hold it in place. But yeah, so that is gonna be all done before we put this table together. So we now have, we had just enough um, damp proof to cover the floor and more than enough of this underlay to go down. So that's going to be that done. And yeah, I've tucked it under here so that's been held in place. Obviously the table's going to come up the middle and hold that down. Um, if I have any trouble where there's these couple of joins with that causing a trip hazard, I'll tape that down. Um, that's probably wise, but I am shattered and I'm gonna go to bed. Anyway, thank you very much for following along with my progress. I'll pop another video up here, so please check this one out if you would like to. Take care, and I'll see you in the next Shed update. ta -ra.